Satellite positioning has gained wide adoption. Organizations and individuals across the globe now use satellites for navigation, positioning, mapping, and research. Even consumer adoption is becoming widespread, with an estimated 40 million regular users. It's going to be like the cellular telephone that I walk around with all day. I don't think about it. I just know that it's there and I expect it to work. The same thing will be true with GNSS. It'll be a case of, of course, you know exactly where you are. Well, doesn't everyone? As receiver technology advances, so does the breadth of applications. Demand has begun to drive development. Issues of coverage, accuracy, and reliability are becoming ever more acute. Precision and accuracy are addictive. So many applications, which in the past required maybe meter level differential positioning in the future will demand centimeter level. The United States government will soon begin the replacement of all GPS satellites in order to modernize its signal set. The Russian government is also updating signal generation for GLONASS satellites even as they bring their constellation to its full operational level. To participate in the explosive growth of what has been called the next utility, the European Union along with other partners has established Galileo, a planned constellation of 30 state-of-the-art positioning satellites based specifically on civilian uses. GPS has competition with the Russian satellites right now. Uh, we have old technology. The CA code on L1 is very old. I mean, look, it's 1978, the first satellite was launched and nothing has happened since 78 in the, in the signal structure. Whereas GLONASS and coming up with the new system in Europe, uh, it's going to be a much modern, more modern. When all three systems, GPS, GLONASS, and Galileo, are fully deployed, there will be over 80 total satellites, each transmitting several distinct signals. The sheer number of satellites will virtually eliminate coverage issues. Their improved signal capacities will bring accuracy to new levels. And with multiple systems and a new focus on civil applications, reliability will be a given. I can't think of a reason not to use the signals that are available, whether it's GLONASS or Galileo or GPS or any other available satellite frequency. So just as a matter of principle, it would seem to me that it makes sense to use. But until now, satellite positioning has relied almost entirely on GPS alone and with only a minimum of signals. Only one manufacturer has taken the groundbreaking step of combining GLONASS with GPS for greater coverage, accuracy, and reliability. Topcon with GPS Plus. Our technology, the use of uh, GLONASS today, uh, and GPS combined allow us to track uh, much, uh, a large, larger number of satellites, uh, which get us closer to this ultimate goal of having 24-7 in any condition. We found uh, a technology that used both the GPS and GLONASS constellations, and we found that that technology is quite unique compared to our competitors. And so that has really helped us as we've moved forward in the marketplace to being probably today here in America the dominant supplier of RTK systems to the uh, construction and surveying uh, markets. Future systems will use sophisticated technology to collect and process multiple signal sets from all three constellations, dynamically accommodating a large number of satellites in any combination. This technology will anticipate all planned satellite deployments and signal expansions. This future world will see new and expanding applications as the technology delivers full coverage, unparalleled speed and accuracy, and rock-solid reliability. And now, TopCon brings you the future. There is nothing in the world like it. GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, G3, the future of satellite positioning, exclusively by TopCon. All satellites, all signals. Its 72 universal channels can track 36 satellites simultaneously in any combination. The new TopCon Paradigm G3 chip 
has created an entirely new category of satellite positioning performance. This new chip uh, contains what we call a universal tracking channel. It's very clever. You specify a frequency, you specify a code, and the, the receiver does the rest. It, it looks for satellites carrying those frequencies and those codes, and uh, that enables us, using the same technology, to track GPS, GLONASS, and Galileo, or any other future satellite for that matter. G3 will be a faster chip. It'll, it's higher level integration. Devices will get smaller, will consume less power, run longer off of batteries, fast satellite lock, dynamic signal tracking capabilities, uh, especially important for areas like machine control where machines are moving faster and faster and, and it's a real challenge in a dynamic moving environment for a receiver to maintain signal lock with the satellite signals. I can see RTK becoming virtually effortless in terms of its ability to generate uh, valid coordinates at a centimeter level on the fly in real time. Uh, the ability that G3 will give you by capturing every possible signal uh, available is that it will make uh, the positioning completely transparent here. So uh, you will know at any given time you will have the best solution possible. In under tree conditions we can decrease time for a fixed solution from for example 10 minutes to 10 seconds and the accuracy of solutions will be increased several times not only for RTK solutions, but first of all for DGPS and standalone solutions. It had to come. I mean, everything that has been done so far, all the improvements have been done by the manufacturers, all with the same old signals coming down from the GPS. Block one and block two, nothing has changed. And then your company has got the advantage of working with the improved signals from GLONASS. And so you had, you had experience and you've developed the software and so on to pick up both of these systems. Now the Galileo's coming up, uh, that's marvelous. This exciting technology was accomplished through the cooperation and collaboration of Topcon engineers worldwide. G3 is the result of several years of advanced research and development by product teams in our facilities in Russia and the United States. For static post-processed solutions, Paradigm G3 will resolve positions to within 3 millimeters plus 0.5 parts per million. And in reference networks, Topcon's G3 technology provides not only the best performance now, but will continue to perform at state-of-the-art levels for many years, thus making reference systems essentially future-proof. When you think about people buying reference stations, who are putting in permanent reference stations for an extended period of time, I can't imagine anybody who would buy uh, hardware, whether it be the government or a local uh, utility company, that would buy a product that doesn't have the ability to pick up every available signal that's going to be out there in the next 10 years. So the G3 is really, from a reference station standpoint, going to set the standard for the industry. Coupled with that, of course, we're rolling out our VRS FKP software which uh, will tie very nicely into the overall products that reference station network providers will be extremely interested in. They invest now, they've invested for the long term. If they buy somebody else's product, they have a short window before they have to replace it again. The future of satellite positioning, made possible by the power of Paradigm G3. All satellites, all signals, one technology. Brought to you by Topcon, the world leader in precision measuring and positioning technologies.